Hey, I'm Mike. This is Reset Continue, our very first episode. This is a gaming channel. This is going to be a little bit of a rough video. I apologize. We're just getting started. What do you expect for the very beginning? Hey, you know, we're all trying to get by. We're all trying to, you know, a little pocket cash, try to have some fun. So, speaking of, you know, Halloween's around the corner. I thought I'd do a little game review. Some cheap games, you know, kind of that horror, like, survival type, you know, creepy type games. But won't break your, you know, wallet. So, let's get into it, huh? So, Darkness 2. Uh, I'm a big fan of not just the comic book, but the uh, video game series really brought it to another level. Uh, the first one was really, like, realistic graphics. This one cell shaded. Uh, I both, I, I was a little in fear of this one because the one, the first one was so realistic and this one cell shaded. So it was sort of like, uh, it, it's almost like a total different game. And it really is a total different game, but the story is still there. Uh, speaking of the story, uh, you know, the game mechanics alone are great. I mean, you, you know, you just tear people apart. Which is absolutely amazing. But uh, the story is very good. Uh, one of the best video game stories I've had. The ending really got me. There's alternative ending where it's like, no way, that, you know, they're just going to leave it hanging like that. But absolutely, um, oh, seven bucks I got at for uh, at GameStop. Uh, great bargain. Absolutely check it out. At some bucks, you know, you can't go wrong. Uh, next one. This is an oldie but goodie, but a remake. It's been out for a while. Uh, Splatterhouse. I was a huge fan of Splatterhouse. Way back, uh, at, you know, during, what was it? Uh, Sega Genesis had uh, uh, Splatterhouse 1, 2, and 3. Uh, really, you know, even then, it was, uh, you know, for, what, 16-bit graphics, it was pretty gruesome. I mean, you could bash things with, like, baseball bats, two-by-fours, you know, you could smash heads of all these creepy creatures. You look like a really roided-out uh, Jason, uh, which was really cool. Uh, you know, you could see the mask there, uh, if you can. There you go. Uh, this is really cool. It's a 3D environment when the other one was 2D. Uh, you know, uh, just in general, but the great thing is, there's sections of the game that goes 2D, playing uh, in homage to the original series. Um, you know, you're talking gruesome, there's really, uh, profound, uh, humor, I mean, it's really crass humor, but I love that type of stuff, you know, South Park-ish, uh, type stuff. Uh, you know, the mask actually talks to you throughout the story. There's some nudity throughout the game. Uh, the story is pretty cool. I like the adventure of it. Uh, you know, uh, there's a great survival mode uh, at the end that you can unlock different uh, stuff to. You unlock uh, powers and, you know, that type of stuff. One of the coolest things about this game is this is the complete pack. You will during this game, you unlock uh, Splatterhouse 1, 2, and 3 in their entirety. So you really get, like, the complete anthology of Splatterhouse. Which, you know, if, you're, if you remember from, you know, being a kid like I did, you know, it really impacted you. This was, like, really cool, cool stuff. Uh, absolutely check this out. Uh, you know, it, it won't jump scare you. But it's that Evil Dead-ish um, type humor throughout it, but over-the-top gory blood. So, I move on to the third and last one. Oh, by the way, this is like less than $10 now. I think it's like $8.99, I think, at GameStop. Most of the time I get my stuff from GameStop. Uh, not trying to pitch them or anything, that's just where I go. Um, I, I actually kind of like the point system and that type of stuff that I could earn money to get more games to do reviews like this. 
Uh, like I said, moving on to our third and last, and definitely not, you know, the bomb, the heat, uh, comes Shadows of the Damned. Um, the game plays like, like Resident Evil 4, you know, over-the-shoulder type, uh, third-person shooting type mechanic. Uh, the game messes with you. Um, it's a really, really cool game. Uh, you know, I think that they went out to see how many different ways that they can make a dick joke. I mean, like, one of the guns is called the boner. And as you evolve it, it's like hot boner, big boner. And the big boner is like the gun from the old uh, Batman movie with Jack Nicholson when he pulls out that giant handgun out of his uh, pants. It's like that, and every time you shoot it, he's like, Big boner! Taste my big boner! Absolutely. I mean, it's it's funny as hell. It's really dark and twisted. And surprisingly, the story isn't half bad. In fact, the ending is one of the best endings I've played. Um, forgive my cat as the cat moves the camera. Sorry. <laughs> Leo. Anyway, <laughs> my, as I do these videos, I'm sure that my cat's going to get in, uh, interfere. But um, this is also a Suda51 game. Uh, if you're not familiar with Suda51, he's one of my favorite game makers. He, he seems to have a knack for the abundance, uh, there goes the cat, abundance of violence, um, language, uh, he has uh, an over-the-top amount of sexuality throughout the games, too. Um, you know, just sort of like what you expect from, you know, the horror genre, sort of, uh, with a, a comical twist. Um, <clears throat> he also made stuff like, um, you probably know Lollipop Chainsaw, uh, maybe not know this one, Killer is Dead, one of my favorite games. I will be reviewing that at some point. Also, Lollipop Chainsaw will get... I, I may even just do a Suda51 uh, video. But absolutely check this out. Uh, this one... It says 13 bucks, but I do believe it's like 10 bucks now. All these games should be under 10 bucks, I believe, at GameStop. You could probably find it online even cheaper. Uh, depending on where you go, whatever, or if you want a brand new copy or used. They, I mean, personally, I don't care. I usually get used games, save that couple bucks. Uh, you know, I play a lot of cheap, cheap stuff. Not that it's bad. It's just golden games from yesterday that just aren't worth anything anymore. So, anyway, that's kind of my video for this one. Um, I got two other friends that are going to be doing the videos with me. Uh, we're going to be trying to get them uh, to do a video as soon as possible and get this ball rolling. Uh, if you like, please subscribe, uh, you know, uh, like, share, uh, you know, we're going to try to do a bunch of different video game stuff, playthroughs, uh, reviews, uh, console reviews even. Uh, you know, uh, as, as we move forward, we're going to try to expand this and, you know, maybe have a nice backdrop, you know, maybe a nice camera. Uh, I apologize once again, we're just trying to get this out as quick as possible. This is actually being recorded on my phone, so, you know, sorry about the, the quality. But anyway, have a great day. Uh, keep posted. I, I can't wait to do more of these videos. Uh, and, yeah. So, raise it, continue. Enjoy.